Mario uh, could be a very controversial character. It depends where you are uh, positioning yourself in front of the story. But uh, mainly for the people to know is the guy that actually um, put some order down there and, and try to stretch life as much as possible with the possibility that they have and the resources that they have were minimal. Just very little food, uh, little water. And so what he did um, is just to have um, a great capacity of organization um, with the rest of the 32 miners that, that, were, that were there. I will divide the character in two different parts. Um, the survival part at the beginning until the, the drill actually uh, found him. And then the connection with the exterior and everything that came with us, I mean with it. Not only just the food, but uh, the possibilities that this guy had to actually become superstars. And um, you have to think that these are people that have been struggling their whole lives to survive in a tough environment. And suddenly um, something was coming from outside that opened their eyes to something completely different and new. And so that created a lot of conflicts down there. And uh, Mario, Sepulveda, Mario Sepulveda was always in the middle of those conflicts. And uh, so the, the possibility that you're going to have to judge when you see the movie, you know, if he was right or if he was wrong. Just to be working in, in a mine uh, made you actually understand not only just the, the problem that they lived, our miners in the movie, but uh, every miner in the world is uh, tougher than, uh, than I thought. Uh, many different problems from methane gas that you are breathing practically all the time, uh, of course the lack of, la of light, uh, um, and at the same time the possibility of having an incident at any given moment, you know, uh, uh, is complex uh, and, and tough. Uh, now I am happy that we did it that way. If we would have done this in a studio, probably we wouldn't have had the same feelings that we had when, when we were working there. And, uh, and at the same time, it, it, we, in a way, we use that to, uh, to find some cohesion in the group. Many different things from, uh, for example, religion, how that played a role there, you know, the possibility that God is going to help us uh, was very strong. Many of the miners were very much uh, believers. Uh, all of those things is what we are going to experience down there, the ups and downs. The drill is coming and they can hear it, and then the drill disappeared. They didn't know if actually, you know, the rescue uh, the team just gave up. And all of those things, seeing it in first um, hand is when I think it's going to create uh, a lot of excitement because obviously we know the end of the story.